Hello and welcome back to the Aztecs. Last time, well, we fought the Spanish. We actually um, got away with it by just conceding the feat. We also have, well, the wishes of these pretender rebels to actually take the throne. We'll see if they are actually capable of that. It seems like they might be, so we'll just allow them to roam free for now. There are a, uh, well, a small problem with uh, the English. They decided that they wanted to try their, or try, to reclaim what uh, was theirs, now mine. And hopefully we can uh, we can kick their asses and send them home crying. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, and well, it should be as I said, fairly easy. But hopefully we can we can do without too much fuss. So uh, we'll just get straight to that, and hopefully we can uh, we can win this without as I said too much uh, or too many problems. And hopefully also we'll have these um, pretender rebels take probably the lands they need to. Uh, to actually get get in charge of the uh, of the uh, of the nation, we apparently have some rebels or patriots that needs to be dealt with. But as you can see, yeah, they have definitely uh, crippled in size. Just eleven thousand and three thousand. Usually they were about fourteen. Uh, no matter where you turned, which kind of were uh, well, really annoying. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just leave it at that. But now at least we do have uh, we do have some ways to to deal with this. Apparently that is not the army that I wanted to send here. This is the one. So we'll just send this one back up and have it siege what it was supposed to siege, which is this promise over here. And we'll just keep on bothering the English and hopefully they'll uh, they'll get bored and leave soon enough. But uh, for now we'll just keep an eye on the pretenders and hopefully they'll be able to uh, to well take the throne. Well, uh, we'll see how it turns out. Apparently, I lost the battle. Seven thousand Englishmen needs to die. I'll be, I'll be helpful with that. But uh, it's just, it's just mercenary armies. So once again, not really anything that actually matters. Just a couple of mercenary squads. Uh, what I lost was really just ducats and a little bit of war score, which may could potentially drag this war out. But of course, when these guys now get slaughtered, uh, that doesn't really matter. So we are doing, uh, we're doing fairly well. We'll just keep on, uh, keep on causing trouble for for the English. I need to kill off those guys though, so we'll just march on them straight away. And with that, we uh, we don't really have that much else to uh, that needs to be sorted out now. We'll uh, we'll just see how it turns out. As such, the English are basically ready now to give up. We'll uh, of course grant them that. No real reason to drag out the war, which is already won. I'll also go ahead and uh, just get rid of some of my mercenary units that would be replaced by proper units like uh, this army here. And of course we get a stability loss because nothing else would uh, well be more fun. We'll boost back to plus one just for safe measures so we'll do it. I should probably not have done that. I should just have allowed these uh, these rebels to uh, to continue their well, slaughter as it were. There is a re really easy way to actually solve this if I change my mind so I'm not really actually having anything to worry about here. If I do change my mind all I have to find is the pretender rebel or the original Pretender or Rebel Army, which is apparently this one, and kill off the leader there. That should end the uh, Pretender Revolt. But for now, we'll just go ahead and try and build some proper armies, and then we'll get ourselves uh, well into battle with uh, with well the people who are could, to some extent annoying. But uh, as I said, for now, the focus will be on getting our armies or army nation back on track. Hopefully, with uh, with the help of these Pretenders. And with that, we'll just uh, we'll just see how it turns out. We're doing pretty well, as you can see. The uh, well, the uh, <laughs> um, rebels here are doing pretty well for themselves. Fifty-three percent on their way. We're still making quite a lot of money, so it's not really anything to fuss about. And also, two or, or two new twenty thousand units have been created, and are basically ready to be shipped out to uh, to England. And I'll probably do that pretty soon. We'll land them in Scotland. Probably end up allying both Scotland and also, uh, of course, France again. France will definitely screw over Spain. And I'm a little bit unsure if I can actually vassalize Scotland since they are reformed. It says they have to be the same fate, but uh, I guess I'll check this up. I'm pretty sure I might actually be able to uh, to vassalize these guys. Have the same religion. They are heretics, so basically we do not have the same religion. I'll, I'll have to check that out, but if, if I can, I might actually aim at vassalizing Scotland uh, to peaceful means. And if that is actually possible, that means that Scotland would be my way of eating England or potentially Great Britain down the line. 
But for now, we'll just keep on causing trouble. I might actually end up in a war with uh, with said Scotland, simply due to, due to the fact that they could become a good vassal or good heir. Oh, a good vassal to eat England. As you can see, we do have a new king now, the uh, Ohimal Popoka. Uh, one five zero, not great at all. The air uh, five three zero, not great at all either. So I do want that new guy, or potential new king, to take over. So we'll just allow him to, uh, or the rebels here, to rummage around for a little while longer. Some English patriots, they aren't actually a trouble or a problem anymore because we can now, we can really deal with them. So it's not really anything to fuzz around about. They are also closing into Mexico. Potentially just two more sieges and they'll uh, be at Mexico itself, which is of course pretty uh, pretty good. Let's see here. We'll offer him some more money. We'll offer him some help. I guess we'll do that. I do need to focus on getting some admin points into uh, into the uh, the uh, admin tree, of course. But for now, we'll just keep on as we have. Uh, we'll focus a little bit more on military ideas and then we'll take religious ideas once we actually get the admin points necessary. But once again, not really that much we could do now. The whole Roman Empire is definitely coming along Austria's way. So they need to potentially be dealt with rather quickly. I might actually use uh, the French here for my advantage. It'll simply declare a war without Cassius Belli. It's definitely a possibility. France is currently at war with Russia and Sweden. I would actually be prefer to join into that war because that means that I'd only fight. Do I still have a truce with Spain? No, that sucks because if I had, we actually have a play here. If I get a truce with Spain, then declare war on Scotland after taking English province. Everything works out. We have uh, we have a tactic here. But yeah, we, uh, we'll simply wait a little bit while longer for these uh, pretended rebels to do their job. And if we do get some new ruler or a new ruler, I would be I would be fairly happy with that. But for now, not really that much we'll do. We'll just have to wait and we'll probably go after the remaining of the English uh, colonies as well. Same with the Spanish. No idea if... Uh, I think I still have their core, but yeah, I think I'll actually do that. If I were to go ahead now and release, if I were to go ahead now and release Inca as a vassal, we'll just do that. Let's face it here: the Incas are heathens, apparently. No, they're not. So they are a they are a Catholic duchy right now. The Spaniards might actually decide to warn them, but I don't actually care about that right now. If the Spaniards declare warn them, I'll use these guys to eat the sudden or this part of Spain. Uh, definitely, it it should definitely help out. They do have the right. They do have the right. Uh, not actually the right culture. They do at least, at the very least, have the right. Uh, wow, what's the name? The right uh, religion. So that's nice. But for now, we'll uh, we'll continue on colonial, uh, well, ideas and things like that. Hopefully it'll pay off. We'll see how it goes. We'll probably be at war with Spain or the English uh, pretty soon anyways. I decided to just finish off the defensive tree first day with defensive mentality. Full defense plus 33 should help out a little bit. Also, we'll get supply trains and improve foraging. I think before we do anything more in the military tech apartment. Uh, Spain is 22 now, so we might actually try and focus to catch up. Because level 23 is, uh, is new units again. So we might actually have to focus on that, which is also the reason why I actually want that that uh, this guy in charge because he's for military. So that should help out a little while, a little bit as well. Also, we do have our Casus Belli on England. We did get a lucky, uh, a lucky uh, well claim, I guess I should say. And of course, now these guys are actually getting their asses to Mexico. So we'll have a new ruler pretty damn soon, and that is of course very beneficial. Well, the legitimacy will still go down for a while due to prestige, but uh, as soon as we are actually done with this first first war against England, I'm pretty sure that will actually sort itself out. We still also have those 30,000 mercenaries, so I'm pretty sure we'll actually just go ahead and use them for our war here. And with that, I mean that we'll have them fight and siege this area, and we'll send 40,000 troops to England itself. Uh, with Scotland and France's help, it should be enough. Potentially, we can also get Austria into this because they are actually coordinating with me, so we could potentially get an alliance if I, uh, or once I take a province in England. I have no idea if I actually have the distance to actually core it because we are still far behind the Bobus attack. So, the uh, let's see, the colonial range probably not far enough. Let's take a quick look.
I believe it's colonial range that decides how far things have to be uh, to call, but apparently then that means that I can actually call this one. And that is pretty damn great because we'll be taking probably this province here and use it as our base of operations. So um, that's pretty sweet. For now we'll simply have to wait for these guys to siege Mexico and then we should pretty soon get ourselves the, uh, the new, well, king. We'll see how it turns out. And also once again we should potentially also tr probably go for uh, go for something else here. Most likely the absolute monarchy once we actually get the, uh, the level 20 admin. So still far away there but uh, all we have to do is basically wait now. And yes I will as I said try or start moving troops to uh, moving troops to Scotland. I still have a I think I still have that uh, wow I think I still have that yeah I still have that uh, uh, fleet basing right and it probably cost me a duke in a month right now or something like that let's see here you guys have probably noted noticed that for quite a while yeah it actually cost me a duke in a month wow that's bad that's real bad but uh, I'll deal with that soon enough. Reinforcement mercenaries. Uh, so reinforcement is just due to the fact that I'm sending guys uh, over. But I'm sending them over now. We'll be we'll definitely be fighting the uh, we'll be fighting the uh, English here first, and then we'll deal with everyone else afterwards. But it should uh, it should work out just fine. We also are starting to get some uh, some uh, well upper hand when it comes to cardinals as well. So we should have the Holy See again pretty soon. But for now, we'll allow these guys to take over, and I'll just move troops to uh, to Scotland, and we'll see how uh, how things work out. Apparently, my heir died due to an event, the uh, 50 or 75 chance. Of course, I simply prayed for his life because it doesn't really matter. And the actual legitimacy boost would probably not have benefited my next ruler, but I can always hope. So very soon now, Mexico will fall. We have sent our first unit of troops over to uh, over to uh, to England. So we are basically set for, for war here. All that remains now is to wait for that truce to end. Shouldn't actually take that long. And I think I can actually spend the diplomatic power to just uh, take the next level. The Gallius. I can now build a Gallius, a um, very small ship. It's no, probably won't do that though, so nothing really important out of that. Truce with England will re <laughs> is actually gone in less than a year, so we'll probably declare as soon as we have 40,000 troops in their lands. I'm a little bit unsure how many troops they actually have right now, probably around 60,000 still. 60,000, yeah. So with the help of France and also uh, potentially Austria, we should be able to pull this off. Spain is actually second in troops with almost one, or close to 200,000. But uh, that's mostly due to because of their trading empire over here, I think. So if we just screw over them in a couple of wars, take as much land here as possible, Portugal will be definitely be important in this matter. And as such, I think I want to... No, I'll just I'll just revive Portugal over here. As long as Portugal is revived, we will be able to screw over over the Spaniards royally. So nothing really to worry about. Mexico has fallen, so these guys will re or demand in 22 months. So and we'll probably wait until then before we declare war. So it's they have a couple more years to uh, to prepare themselves for. The inevitable war that is to come and we'll probably try to take as much land as we can once again not really that much we'll go or stay below the 100 limit just because of the fact that i don't actually feel like uh, dying to rebels again and hopefully uh, i won't but for now we'll just wait for those rebels to uh, to take over and that should be uh, that should be fair enough we'll see how it goes level 15 admin tech is breached the textile manufactory just gives that building not really that important I should potentially also try to, well, get the War College built because I was supposed to do that quite a long time ago. I completely forgot about it though, so that's kind of messed up. And apparently I can't actually build it because I don't have a building that's, or a place that currently isn't under siege. Which is kind of bad, but apparently these guys have all decided to march up here and siege this area. So I have to, I have to keep an eye on them that I don't actually kill them or kill the leader of the... Uh, of the rebels by by accident because that is definitely a possibility here so we'll just pull ourselves away of course the front the French uh, I don't understand how these guys actually work they want to be my friend they don't want to be my friend they kind of do it in tandem with the well what ha what's happening but at least I have the Scottish on my side I will be needing the French of course when it comes to fighting the uh, when it comes to fighting the uh, the uh, what's their name the uh, English, but no, not the English, the Spanish. But other than that, they're not really that uh, that important. 
So for now we'll just uh, keep on the same level, we'll just wait for, uh, well, wait for the, uh, the new guy to take, uh, take charge. And uh, once he does we'll probably go after England. Apparently I might actually get Austria as an ally instead, and having the Holy Roman Empire as an ally while I'm actually trying to do this could definitely be, uh, definitely be helpful. Also, there's another fun little thing here. We have another a new Aragorn, or a new Aragorn, and I can basically brutally vassalize them in one war, or in probably, well, the French Spaniards. Uh, there'll probably be quite a war over this because the fact is, uh, Aragorn is allied with Spain, and Spain has a core on this thing. I think no, Spain does not. France has, so that could definitely be a hilarious development down the line. We'll have to see how that works out. These guys should be about very close now to enforcing their demands. Can't really see that it would take that much longer. One month. So on the first of uh, October, we'll have a uh, we'll have a new king, and that should be uh, that should be fairly interesting, I think. But apparently, it takes a little while longer because they're stubborn bastards that don't actually don't actually want to do this. But there we go. We have a uh, we have a new king. The rebels have won. Uhimal uh, Popok. Gar will now rule our glorious nation. 3, 2, 4, not too bad. Rebels have won. My king, the threat will Aztec pretend rebels have forced us to submit. The type of government changed to the spotty monarchy, which we had to begin with. Our guy becomes ruler. We get increased aristocracy, uh, some trade efficiency trouble, and otherwise we uh, we get some bonuses to uh, double the cost, but of course the morale of armies suffers for it. But for now, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, erase some of the troops that we don't need. I'm pretty sure I can actually manage with or we'll cut this one in half. So we'll just do that. No, we'll let the just cut it in half, I think. We do have enough new units here due to the Pretender Rebels, so that shouldn't... Wow, the hiccups again. That shouldn't actually be, uh, be too much of a problem to deal with. Two seconds. And I'm back, sorry guys, um, apparently we will be most likely shipping over another 20k unit, this one to Scotland, just to be sure that we can win the uh, the initial battle over there. But I'm a little bit unsure how many troops Scotland actually has themselves, they probably have, oh, 12,000. Yeah, we'll probably ship another 1,000 men over to Scotland, just to be safe, and then we'll attack England. I'm pretty sure they don't actually have any troops in the area, we might do a check with ships first, just to be on the, on the safe side. But I'm pretty sure they don't actually have any troops in this area. But once again, we'll do a check. And other than that, not really much else to say. We'll probably fight England next time. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.